Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Anthony Gray. Welcome to Gray Scale. I haven't done one of these in a minute, so I guess I'll uh, crank one of these out. As you can see, I have a palette up here. Not the cleanest palette in the world, but sorry. Titanium white. Um, it's called Grumbacher Red. Thalo Blue and uh, Sap Green this time. So I'll do a quick um, floral. I'll try to make this one as painless as possible. I'm going to try to make these paintings kind of accessible uh, for this year. Maybe a little, little easier. Alright, I'm not a fan of using black, but I'll use it as a base color for today's project. All I have is a sea sponge. Okay, dipped it in black ink. There you go. Uh, this way. Okay, a little out of focus. It's only in focus for the board, not me or the sponge. Anyway, I'll get right to it. As you can see, I have 11 by 15 watercolor paper. 11 by 15 inch watercolor paper. Um, painter's tape around it. I have, um, this was done with, uh, saturated the paper with water. Drip black ink over it. Um, then brown ink. Then some wrapping paper took the or plastic wrap uh, plastic wrap then take the plastic wrap off you can, little bits of alcohol you get the little ridges and stuff it's breath apart the paper all that good stuff that's basically uh, what I have all right now I'm gonna pat some patterns or whatnot around darker around in here this is where I'll probably have most of the subject but other than that just Pat a few things around here. Something like that. Pretty much solid in here. But you can have it kind of flutter out on the edges around in here. Something like that. Maybe trail off around in here somewhere. Alright. And that's it. I really won't use too much of the black. That should probably be about the size of it right there. All right, and what I'm going to take is let's get a thicker brush this time. Three-quarter inch flat brush. I'm gonna wet it. I work with acrylic paint, and I get some background stuff happening here. Now, what I can do while the paint's still somewhat kind of wet. If I wanted to, I can trail, trail some darker leaves around here using the paint that's on the uh, on the board. Whoops, on the board itself. Okay. Try to bring it to a point. It's okay if you can barely see them. No, that's kind of the point. Just here and there. It's just background stuff. Just trail it around. You can put color, all the colors in front of all of that. You might not see it. Okay. So that's just a little something. Just to put there. So let's tar, uh, Let's do some phthalo blue. I usually just get a little bit, tap it. Alright. Uh, maybe a slight touch of red. A little more red in there. I want to kind of have a deep color. If I want to water it down, I'll just use I'll use water. I won't use no medium uh, this time. Just water and acrylic paint. So I'm just loosening the paint a little. I think I have some nice thicker, just some thicker leaves just coming, coming out, and you make it a little thin like so. These might appear a little dark, thick, and but come down like that. Have a little curve. Get some more of the paint. You flatten out your brush, flat, and just make it a little narrow, put a little curve to it, alright, 
I'm getting a little more blue, a little more red. A little more red than that. It's a nice little practice. Get some more water. I don't soak the whole brush in water. I'll do this one over again. I want it a little, a little thicker. Like that. And let's have one trail thin off. Like so. Let's have one come out front, curl, go downward. Put some down here. So, you just keep it going. Then make a thick trail off. These are in the background. Going different directions. If you feel it's breaking up a little bit, add a little water. Okay. Like I say, these guys are in the background, so not necessarily have to make them so strong. Gonna have brighter, brighter uh, flowers in front. And maybe one in here like that. Let's curve it right around. Okay. Rinse off the brush. Make sure you rinse off your brush pretty good. No, no residual paint, no color around. Always have a little tissue handy. Just wipe off the water from the brush. All right. And let's try for some. Uh, what I call a little wiggle leaves. I'm just putting a little more red into this blue. Touch of blue. Don't necessarily want to mix that. Add a little green in there and muddy it up a little bit. Okay. And let's put let's put a couple of those wiggle guys. You can go right in front of some of your some of your leaves. Out. Narrow. Little, little tip in front of the brush. Add a little, these are kind of dark. I might have to lighten them up a little bit. Add a little white into it. I'm going to do that for you so you guys can see it. Okay, we'll do it again. Press, wiggle, come back up the brush, give a little tip to it, a little, little point. Like so. And you're going to put a little stem in there. Okay. Let's get some more of that. Let's get some more blue. Get some more red. Put some green in there. And a slight touch of white. I'm going to brighten it up a little bit. I put a lot of green in this one. I want to darken that up with some more blue. I still want them in the background. Okay. And we'll keep going. Maybe a little, little stem here coming right out. Flatten your brush, give it a little wiggle, come back up. And give it a little, little point, little tip there. Right right here. Flatten it out. You can do quite a uh, quite a few of these actually, if you desire to. Okay. Let's put let's get a little more white. Let's brighten some of that up there. I don't necessarily stir um, mix it all in there together. Like thoroughly mix it. Okay. Uh we're gonna come down here. A little wiggle come out like that go in another direction come on out all right you can like I say put a little little stem in there or you can do stem first and have it come out and a couple of wiggle leaves here and there all right have them overlap if you would like like so okay it does take practice I'm adding also a little more red a little touch of white. Let's put a few down here. Have it trail. Maybe down here. Have a few down there. Like so. And we'll overlap a couple. I can usually go a lot faster than this, but for the sake of showing, a little press, come up. Give it a little, make sure you give it a little tip there. Okay. Overlap some of these guys. Let's put some right in here. Nice big one there. Maybe one right there. Overlap. Put one right there. Have them 
branching off. If they're a little too dark, just add a slight touch of white. Okay, I want to brighten up some of these guys here. Like that. Maybe brighten that one up a little bit. But you can see kind of where I'm going with this. Alright, bring some of them up in there. Like so. Let's put a red one up in there. Or mostly red. A little white, little red. Let's put a little eye catcher right up in there like that. Have one trailing down. Something like that. Okay. That's my little phone notifications. Ignore it. I do. Let's press that out a little bit. Like so. so. We'll put a little patch of red right in there. Like that. Where we have a lonely little guy trying to trying to hide right there behind that leaf there. Okay. So we're going to try to center everything right in the middle of the page. Okay. Okay. Get a little more water. Let's get some more green. Put some more green with that red. And the slightest touch of white. Kind of brighten up the green just a little. Wet the brush a tiny bit. Still using the three quarter inch brush. Let's get some long leaves in there. Let's make them a little, a little green. All right. And we're going to start here. Thin, thick, and go back to thin, curve it around. Let's do another one. Thin, thick, curve right around. All right, now you see how they tend to pop out a little bit, a little bit more. Okay. That green just comes right out in front. Let's put one, let's put one trailing. Thin, thick. And we'll have them snake around like that. Let's get a little more green in there. A little more green. Touch of red. A little bit of blue. And we'll touch it up with a tiny bit of white. Just to brighten it up a little bit. Slight. Slight touch of water. Loosen the paint up a little. I like using Grumbacher paints because it reminds me of oil paint. A medium I used to... Uh, um, use a lot and uh, I like working with it okay mmm I kind of want to maybe just keep them keep them right around in this area here I'll curve one right up here I kind of like it like that so I'll just keep them this way I won't plop them all over the place I think I, I, I want, really want to keep this type of uh, thing going. But we'll put a little a little more white to the green. I'll get some green squiggles going. Just little filler flowers here and there. Maybe, maybe a couple popping out this way. Up there. Maybe one in front of the darker one. Little stems disappear in there. Let's put maybe one right in front here. Turn the brush around. Let's put let's put one right in there, like that. Let's go up with it. Okay, really livens up your painting. Okay. I could bring you in, zoom you in a little closer to look at it. See what I got so far. So let's do that. And I'll put it in focus for you a little bit. There you go. That's pretty much what we're doing so far. We got done. Okay. I might even put a little more white in the green. We'll have a couple really stick out. How's that? Um, maybe down here. A couple bright ones hanging around. Each uh, each leaf or petal that you do a little bit brighter comes out in front of the other ones a little, little stronger. Have some, have some little veins uh, trailing out there like so. You don't even have to really uh, con like continue it up into the dark. That, that'll be taken care of. But brighter colors in front of your darker leaves 
gives you that three dimensional look. Okay, uh, we'll put a we'll put one more in there like that. Don't be afraid to whoops to um <coughs> excuse me. Don't be afraid to experiment. Don't be afraid to overlap your 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 um overlap your uh your plants and flowers and whatnot. As to the interest, all right. It's always good to experiment, play around, see what works, see what does not work. All right. So relatively, I'm not I'm not really gonna complicate things with it. I kind of like uh, where it's going. Okay. And just to use up the paint, I really don't want to put a long stem leaf in there, leaf in there, but I'm going to. I guess I'll put one just trailing around, Ooh, like that. But you know he can't be alone, so you gotta put you know. Uh, let's put another guy curving right around. I'll have him curve that way. All right. When I come back, I'll let this dry a little bit. When I come back, we'll add uh, probably some some uh, baby's breath and and. Uh, a poppy or a rose or two. We'll see. But I'll be right back, all right? And we'll bring this right back out here so you guys can see me mix the paint. All right, stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back once again. Let's take... This little round brush here. Get some water. We're gonna soak in the water, get a little bit of paint going. A little white, a little green, brighten that up. Do some tiny little cutesy stems for our uh, little baby's breath. Wet it up a little more. Loosen the paint just a tad. Okay. Okay. I want the baby's breath to come out from the center. Well, we have it come like around there. Uh, we'll put a little steam right around there. Get some more water. Now, the um, paper I'm using obviously got a little tooth to it. So, I'm trying to get them as thin as I can, but I'm also mindful of the. Uh, Uh, we'll put we'll put a couple come this way. A little more water. It'll really loosen up the paint so the the, uh, the paint can just flow off the brush. Okay. We'll have it intertwine, mix around. Try to keep it as thin as possible. If you can. Mm, some snake up in that way. Just a few. I'm going to take that same sponge, okay, I cleaned it during the break, take some of that same sponge, we're going to dab a little white in there, okay, I'll take the sponge and uh, you look at the pattern of the sponge and see what you would like, what part of it would be good for the, um, the baby's breath, okay, okay. I think that might that might that might look all right. Kind of squeeze how much you want out of it. Dab it in some white. Okay, not very hard to do baby's breath. Just a little touch, like so. Try to keep it bunched up, kind of in the center a little bit. Flail it out toward the toward the end. Let's do one here. If you want to make them a little smaller, make them a little smaller. Just scrunch it up a little more. And we'll bring a couple up here. Maybe, maybe a patch right there. Let's maybe put a little patch of some baby's breath right in there. As you can see, let's zoom in a little bit. You guys, don't have to look at the palette. You can I'll zoom it in a little. Okay, and we'll... focus hopefully that's in focus I don't have my glasses 
I think that's pretty much in focus there. But as you can see, a couple of them here and there. I might even, I might even plop one right in here. Something like that. Right in, right in there. All right. And <coughs> since I've done that, I might as well add a little stem so it has something to hold on to. I'll put some of those right in there just disappearing into the dark there. Put a few of them just gathering around in there. Just like that. Alright, hopefully you guys can see it. But all I'm using is a sponge. Okay, I showed you how to do the long leaves and such and the wiggle leaves. Wiggle leaves take a little practice. Okay, but this paint, uh, painting is totally accessible. Anybody can, can do this. Okay. As I'm checking things out, I'm looking here and there and whatever. I got the little white, I got the white going, most of the green, some blues in the background, yada yada. I'm going to uh, dip my brush, get some more of this light green here, maybe a little white, put it in there, lighten it up a little bit. I want to add some right here in the corner, so I'll go out here like this. Get some more water here. Up around here in the corner here. I'm trying to arrange myself so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. I might make them a little thicker, just so the root, the the stems can be seen, more or less. Up around in there. All right. Hopefully you guys can hear me pretty good too. I got the uh, camera mic on. I don't have it facing in, in front of me, behind me here. Let's take that same sponge. Matter of fact, I'll take it with the white on it. Whoops, sorry. Right around in here, this stuff here. Yeah, you guys can see it right there. All right. And I'm gonna dip into the red. A little bit of red. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. And we're gonna do some red ones, right? Right in here. And have it trail a little bit. Maybe a touch of white in there. Just a little, little bit of. Actually, let's make it brighter white than that. Really pop it out there. Something like that. Right there in the corner. It's a little something, something there. All right. I'll rinse off this sponge right now while I'm while I have it in my hand and I don't mind getting wet. Then we'll put the main guy right in there. Guy or gal. Don't have to be gender specific. Let's see. As I'm looking at it. Trying to see what arrangement I want to put for this particular flower and what color. I'll tell you the truth, I might put a white one in there. I haven't done too many of the uh, white flowers. I'm taking the same brush, okay, almost a one brush painting, really, almost. So far, I've only used the sponge and these two guys right here. Put them in the camera there. Can you guys see them? Only these guys. Alright. Okay. So. As I'm looking at it. Uh. I guess I'll use a little bit of. I'll use a little bit of, of uh, blue. And a whole lot of white. A nice little bluish tint. I don't know if I'm going to use any medium. We'll see how it goes. But let's have it. I'm going to get a little bit, of, a little bit of water. Let's 
Let's see what happens. I don't want to use too much water. So I'll have the petals out there like that. And I'm going to need more white. Let's get some more white. Don't need much blue. I got plenty of blue. Definitely going to need more white. I really don't want to use too much water. I want to keep it kind of thick. If it's not the same color, that's okay. Add a touch more blue. Add some more white to it. It's all right if it's if it's not the same color. It would be wise to mix enough of it. But if not, it's okay. It's just your base color anyway. Okay. So I'm approaching it a little, a little differently. I'll put a petal right in there like that. And maybe a little something in there. I got a little red sneaking up in there, that's fine. And as I'm looking at it, checking it out, still looking at it here. Separate some more petal. A little bit of it right here. Now I'm going to darken it obviously. A little blue, a little red, a little more red. Get a deep oh, violet working in there. Uh, maybe right in here. And just spread it out a little bit. Just like so. I don't have to really have it glaringly dark since it's going to be more, uh, kind of a whitish little flower there. But that's about it. Okay, might want that a little darker down there. It's a little darker. All right. So it looks obviously very light blue, but that's okay. Rinsing off the brush. Just check out the uh, the patterns. All right, no matter how you got the leaf, petal one, petal two, petal three, petal four, and maybe perhaps a petal five in there. Okay, but just look at it. The inside of the bowl. This is the outer rim, right in here. Okay, that's the bottom of the bowl right there. The bowl would be right in here. It's a thin bowl here. Okay, let's take my script liner brush with the bristles. Let's get some white. Wet the brush pretty good here. Some more white. So, obviously, you're gonna have a. Let's zoom in on this. Let's, let's zoom in. Uh, that's about as good as I'm getting with the zoom. Obviously, there'll be a petal ooh, right around here. There'll be a petal here. Everything comes toward a dot right there. Okay, so we got a petal coming in right in there. I sketch it lightly. All right. Then we have a petal coming this way. Coming right in, right, right there. Then we got another petal on the other side. This guy right here coming on in. But I'm going to have him swoop right on in like that. Right, so that's three. Okay. This one comes in. But everything's going to aim toward that dot. So those are the three on the outside. Okay. I'm going to have one. Almost like a. It's sort of like an S. Alright. We'll have it. Come here. Loop around. And scoop under. And it'll be kind of. In that fashion that one will be facing us that guy will be facing us right there okay so and then all the other pedals will aim back towards that dot from this direction okay you got a pedal you have a pedal 
right here. And yeah, well, actually, let's make him almost an inside pedal like that. Then we got this up, up pedal sneaking out here like that. And we got another pedal, this guy right here. So hopefully you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. Okay. So I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible. All right. All of these guys are going to aim toward that dot right there. Okay. I know that once I put this on the computer screen, everything kind of blows up and looks a lot larger. So but you guys should be able to see that. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm still going to use this uh, three-quarter inch brush here. I'm get, dipping into my... Let's see if you guys can see it if I go down a little bit. No, you can't. Not unless I zoom out. Let's zoom out a little bit. Let's zoom out a tad. You guys might want to see me mix this stuff. Uh, okay, let's aim it downward. And let's see if we can zoom in a little closer. That should be all right. Okay, as you see, I'm going into my titanium white. Um, slight touch of blue in this. Because this is not the highlight color. But it will be brighter than what I did put on. Okay, I'll use a little medium of water. Okay, not too much. Okay, try to get it thin. Thin edge. There, right this way. And we'll come back a little bit. Try to get a thin edge going there. Remember, everything goes, aims towards the dot. So, I'm going to press. Don't be shy, press and you slide. All right, you want your leaves to feather out and aim in the direction of that dot. All right, so that's one down. Let's work on the other guy. I'll give it a push, press, make it disappear. Push, press, and make that disappear in there. Try to feather those guys right in there. Like so. That's pedal number two. It takes practice. I'm not gonna, it does take practice. Alright, but I am showing you the concept of how to do it. Outer edge, crack it, and just gently lift up. Lift up. Lift up. Okay. Get a little medium, a little water. Put it right in there with the paint. Alright. As it dries, some of the outer, some of the uh, color that's um, preceding it will show through. This a couple here, We're kind of straight, going in there. Smooth some of that out. Smooth that right out a little bit. Okay. We're gonna work with this guy. That fellow should be really a little darker. I, only the corner of my brush is a little bit blue. And I'm going to go thin, thick, thin, curve right on around like so. That guy's like, that pedal's facing us. Okay. Get a little bit of white, especially around the edge. I'm t uh, now, the vantage point for that guy is right there at the bottom of the leaf. All right, so there will be a vantage point. All the strokes will lead right to the center of this because this flower's uh, facing outward from us. So I'm getting nothing but pure white so we can get the rim. Okay, it's a little little touch, a little press, touch, let it disappear. Same here. But aim towards that center area. Okay, got that one's facing us. Alright. Okay. And we're gonna go a little darker. Cause these petals are by, are are down below. So, um, slight touch of blue, just a slightly darker, these guys down here. So, we're going to start with this one first. Gonna press, and you make it disappear. Press, go a little bit beyond the, um, the line. If you, if you tend to draw a line, go a little bit beyond the line so you don't see too much of that line, okay? Get a little bit more water, just a, a tiny touch of water. <coughs> Okay, and we're going to do it again. 
Well, actually, let's do this. Let's do this one. Let's do this one first. Overlap a little bit your previous stroke. All right. If you want to give it a little push and then peek in, a little push, give a little rim there, a little edge. Go right on in like that. We're going to go a little darker for the pedal on top of that one. We'll do the highlights a little later. But if you go a little darker, one, it gives you a separation of the previous pedal before hand. Okay. There, like so. I kind of like that. I'll leave. I might, no, let's have it trail. Go right over the other guy. And just give him a little, little something there too. Okay. We're going to go for some highlights. Looking for my towel. I'm just rinsing off my brush. I knew that this flower wouldn't take me too long. <coughs> We're going to do a little highlight. Let's do a little highlights on the outer edges of these guys. Like right around here. When you do it, slight push and not as um you're not gonna go in as far as you did the other other guys. Let's do it right here. Let's have that pedal. Let's give it a little line there. Okay. Like so. You don't have to necessarily you just maybe sometimes a, a little dot would do. Okay, just to trail that edge. Let's give one right here, a little dot, a little push. You don't have to go all the way in with it. Like so. Okay. So as I'm looking at it, it is acrylic. It does dry quite quickly. I can give me maybe a slight glaze. Just a tiny touch of blue and some water. Just tiniest touch of blue. A little water. I don't want to make it heavily blue. And you can you can glaze in some a little more blue than that. Glaze in some shadows. Now you're just playing with shadows and shades and, and such. A little darker. A little darker blue in certain certain petals. Maybe back here a little bit. Okay. Some pops out a little more than others, a little more blue. Mm, maybe around in here a little bit. Cover some of that in there. So right now I'm just playing around with a little bit of the shadow. Like that. And I will take some more of the white, no glaze, just the white. Now we'll highlight some more. Each highlight is a little, little less of a stroke than the previous. You just want it to kind of just in certain certain areas. And especially here, this bowl here. Maybe you want to trail it a little bit there. Have it connect with the other leaf here. Like so. Okay. Like I say, you experiment. Some you might like, some you might not. So it's really your choice. Alright. So it's a nice little beginner to start with. And you might be surprised of how it turns out okay okay we're almost done here guys we're almost done put little stamen buds in the center there so we're done with that brush let's take a large round this guy there all right i gotta remember to go opposite where i'm aiming I would, yeah, I'm going to.
just a little bit of yellow only a dot of yellow is all I need and I'm gonna put a little white in it so here's the yellow I'm gonna tap some white into that yellow just to brighten it up there Let it stand out a little bit okay don't need too much if you can splay out your brush a little and we're going to be careful of your outer edge we'll start from up here see just a light touch the lightest touch and as I'm doing it I'll just come up get a little more white give it a little highlight maybe up here on one side like so all right of course just cleaning it off here you got to have some leaves for this guy the leaves will have a little brighter have them stick out a little bit pardon me so we're going to bring our brush back the return of the three quarter inch brush let's mix some i put blue down here by mistake so i'll just use a bunch of this blue blue a little bit of green have a nice strong color a little water wet it a little bit put some leaves in here for this guy um we'll just have the leaves come out we'll have one come out from here flat angle outward we'll have it come this way just like so and the leaves kind of go towards the center this also takes practice okay it does I won't kid you but it takes a little practice okay so we have one there and we'll move right along and we'll put one we'll put one coming down this way opposite way come that way get a little more water just a touch of water loosen up the green a little bit green and blue mix you don't want it too watery. I'm mixing a little paint in there with it, thickening it up with just a small bit. And you're going to do it again. And we're going to go around. You can have them overlap like I just did. It's okay. You still got to highlight these guys. There's a light and a shadow side. Just like so. Alright. I could put one on either side, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how it looks going to just wipe off my brush go into the yellow whitish mix a light touch of water loosen the paint up got white and yellow almost a, a little bit of blue green in there I didn't totally clean off the brush so but it's okay we're gonna do the lit side we're gonna light up the side from over here on this over here give it a little press trail and disappear press also takes a little practice and you're pressing and you're going to lift like so we're going to do it on the other side here press come down gently lift up press and if you can see the direction i'm going with these all right but you see how it just pops right on out and you want to get a nice feathery smooth feathery look in in these guys you don't want such an abrupt stop okay we're going to get some uh a little bit of blue i'm putting it right in with the white more blue touch it up with the white not necessarily uh, gonna heavily blend it little shadow side of the leaf and we'll start here go around in there okay and we'll trail a little vein right up in the center there this one here too we have a little vein right there in the center gonna wet the tip again a little bit of the bluish white mix press trail it disappears feather right out you can skip a few have, have a, a leaf kind of settle in there a little more than others but basically that's it just like you see okay as you see you got the leaves in the background got a little baby breath and different colors and such and what have you and what not yes I'm gonna do it because I don't know I'm gonna do it here we go 
I got to put one on the side over there. It just bothers me. Got to have three. It's just my little quirk. Forgive me. One more, guys. Um, right here. One right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right there. But we're going to do something different with that guy. We had this pedal on the side. Kind of cupped. Okay. I just dipped into some more water, mixing the paint. And we're going to go... this way okay so we got a little dark edge right in there I'm gonna lighten it up on the outside so I'm taking the whitish yellow mix get some right in here and here we go right on the outside here in the same direction, let's go larger. Like this. And like this. And like that. And like that. There. So now we got one that's cupped. Alright. So it's, it's cupped that way. Alright. I think we just about had enough with this. But I cannot leave this painting without a butt or two swimming around in there I gotta do it it's just it's just a quirk I got all right forgive my jaw let's put a butt in there wetting my round brush if I'm already put a, a butt in there I guess I need some uh <coughs> some green I'm running extremely low on this stuff here I'll mix a little bit hopefully that'll work we'll see Let's put a red one in there. Red one will stick out pretty good. So I got some red. Surrounding the brush with red. Put it right in the center there. Like so. Okay, can you guys see that? Then we're going to take some of this bright greenish white green green white mix. Hopefully I got enough of it. We'll put one coming right down here. Right down here. And we're going to press. And you got a bud there. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have enough of this green and white mix. I'll have to make do. I really don't want to pour all that just for a couple of these guys. I'm going to have one stringing around, string around. He's going to come loop around and come lower. Press. You got another one hanging around right there. All right. We'll probably pop one on the other end there. Rinse off the brush. And we'll have maybe a blue one. Let's have a blue one, nice dark one. So we got a dark one here. I got plenty of green, so I'll just use the tip of my brush to get plenty of this dark green. And we'll put one, let's put it on the opposite side, if anybody's seen here. We're going to have it come on out, come on out, come on out there, buddy. Come on out. The more green. Because it's looking a little blue. There you go, a little bit of green. A little bit of green and come right up there. You want a nice one right there. And since he looks so good by himself, let's put another one there. Let's have him come up, come around, and plop him right in there like so. Okay. Now that should be enough. I hope that uh, this lesson wasn't too difficult, too crazy. Okay. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry for my side of my face again. Let's uh, let's bring this out. Gotta have. There we go. Gotta have the uh, special effects, or it just doesn't work. Let's see if we can put us both in focus here. I think that might work. I'll stand back a little bit. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, any comments? Any questions? Um. Put your comments down below. Gotta get used to writing the year 18 now. There we go. And uh, I really hope that you enjoyed it and learned something from this little tutorial. Quick little poppy floral, floral here. Um, I don't think I'm gonna frame it. I'm gonna just leave it just as is. I'll spray it and I'll, I'll uh, post it. But um, 
it's not really that bad. It looks more complicated than it actually is. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, it'll be down below right around here about now. All right. Um, your versions of it, send it to my Facebook um, page. Okay. Um, I think that's about it, really. So, um, I hope you really enjoyed it. I got to stop looking at, the screen, looking at the screen and look more at the camera. But I hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you uh, got any questions, let me know. Put it in the comments down below. Um, if you enjoy seeing these and other subjects, please subscribe. Um, I do answer them. All right, good, bad, or indifferent, I do answer. Okay, in a, in a timely fashion, if nothing really pops up. All right, and I'll see you next time, all right? So, peace.